Ida Barini. And I'm Kelsey Paul. And you're You're watching watching It's Today for WHITradio.org. Hello, Laser Kitties. It's a wonderful Thursday here at High Tech. And me and Kelsey, this is one of our last shows. Are we doing that? Okay, this is our next to last show. And we're doing it about summer vacation. Yay! It seems like like just yesterday we were talking about, oh, summer, I wish it would come, and now it's finally here. Mm-hmm. And um, the summer countdown to vacations and getaways has begun. Um, personally, I have 18 days to my trip to Iran, long anticipated. Wow. And you are leaving July 1st, right? Yes, 10 for... days. For London. Yay, that sounds so great. <laughs> And we're going with the school with Miss Murphy. I've talked about it before, but I'm really excited. You get to see all the culture and the the coolness behind London. And I get to see the culture and the coolness behind my own heritage. And I'm really excited. You need to have two separate passports for Iran. Um, I don't know why exactly. Maybe it's because we're not really friendly. I don't know. But, like, you don't really need to for London, right? No, I just have one passport. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm a dual citizen, apparently. Like, I didn't even realize that until my parents told me. They were like, yeah, you're a citizen dual. And I was like, cool. <laughs> so, yeah, we have two passports, a Persian passport and an American passport. And 18 days from now, we will have to go through the American security at the airport, which is always a nightmare. Did yeah. I tell you that we got a random security check once? Yeah, you told me about that. Ugh, it sucks. It was, ugh, but whatever. Whatever goes, when in Rome. Um, so, what are you most like looking forward to seeing there? My family yes. mostly. Yeah, we have did I um we have a baby because well one of my second cousin is on the way and like her due date is like soon like wow. I hope it'll be there by the time we're there and maybe we can go to the hospital with her and stuff. Yeah. It'll be fun. <laughs> um. Also, I want to see a lot more of the the landmarks and everything like that because Iran actually has a lot to offer in the way of tourism, which I did not really realize before because the last time I went was the summer of 8th grade, so that would be like 2011. So I was like younger and I didn't really realize. And I want to go, um, last week I, or Tuesday, I talked about my poetry anthology and one of the people that I had in there was Saadi and Hafez. And... Actually, I'm planning on visiting their graves, which is actually, like, a big... They turned it into, like, a, a lot of people go and visit, and they give prayers and stuff like that, because they're really, like, revered Famous, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's a great place to go and um, hang out. I also want to go to Tehran, because we've always been in, like, the more small cities, country, and I want to go see, like, the big city. Yeah, it's good to get, you know, both angles of yeah. Iran. So. And your family, where do they live? They live in the country, or they live everywhere. We have um, Shiraz, Isfahan. We, I think, someone's moving to Tehran. Um, Avaz, Abadan, everywhere, really. So it's yeah. all scattered. You get to see everything. Yeah, <laughs> I get to see everything. It's really fun. Um, also, another attraction is somewhere called Kish, and it's like a vacation getaway. And also, there's Shomal, which is more like a it's more up north, so there's a lot of mountains and forests and beaches, and it's cool. And you're like, how do people go to beaches in their headscarves? And actually, it's pretty possible. It's, <laughs> it's funny. But, yeah. Um, we're, I'm already pestering my mom to start packing because we're a last-minute family, so we're probably not going to pack until, like, July 7th, knowing us, and our flight's July 8th. So <laughs> It's okay. I, I know a lot of people that, you know, wait till last minute. I happen to be one of them. Yeah, <laughs> but you're actually getting organized, right? Yeah, I have. Um, some of the stuff I'm going to pack maybe this weekend, but I have everything together almost. I didn't really start doing the toiletries, like, you know, the toothpaste and all yeah. that stuff. But um, That can ju- kind of just be thrown yeah. in there, I guess. I'm just going to put it in a little pouch and, yeah, stuff that in there. <laughs> I told my mom, 18 days, and she started flipping out. She was uh, like, 18 days? That's really? not a lot of time. I don't know. She goes crazy when she packs. Like, she's just sitting in the middle of, like, five suitcases. <laughs> yeah, that's my mom, too. Like, when we're on a family vacation, she's, like, in charge of the luggage and everything. It's, like, a huge to-do a week before the trip. You know, we get all our clothes in there, and, yeah, it gets intense and scary. 
It's really fun. It's actually, it's just fun to go on vacation. And I think, like, the airport is a journey in and of itself because yeah. you get so excited seeing everyone. And then, like, you go on the airplane, and the airplane's not so fun sometimes, but I, it's okay. Last time I went on the airplane, I was 12, and I was going to Florida. Aww. And, yeah. And um, I actually really like the airplane ride. I mean, most people, you know, they have fear, a fear of, you know, <laughs> crashing. Yeah. That's not too fun. But um, we did have some turbulence, though, and that was a little scary. We did, too. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been on a plane ride where we haven't had turbulence. But I think that's really, like, like, when you're going 5,000 feet in the air, I think it's it's pretty normal. I actually heard somewhere that um, flying an airplane, there's less crashes than there are car crashes. Like, a lot, a lot less. So it's actually safer. Yeah. So, I mean, these airplanes, they don't just put a bunch of metal together and go up in the air they have like thousands and like hundreds of like security checks and like mechanical checks it's really it's really fun don't be scared of airplanes don't be scared be cautious just be cautious (laughs) um so i'm going to london and i have a few tourist attractions that i'm excited for um one of them being Buckingham Palace Ooh. and the changing of the guards there. I'm really excited for that. The ones, do they just, do they really just stand there? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love their puffy hats. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to like steal one. Pet them. They're actually real soldiers though. So they're, really? they've been to like, they've been um, like to, to war. war. Yeah. So it's not only for looks, you know, they're real soldiers. So. But like, they would stand out. Maybe they change uniforms. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, no. They don't wear that. Yeah. <laughs> sure. No, not that. It's like it's like the whole idea with, like, the drummer boy in, in war. Like, who yeah. do you expect to get hit first? Like. Oh. <laughs> Aw. That's a drummer boy. A um, little drummer boy. <laughs> the other thing I'm excited to go see is the London Eye, which is a Ferris wheel, and I just found a out Ferris about it. Ferris wheel? Yeah, it's a huge Ferris wheel. Um, How big? I don't know. Let's see. Like, bigger than Six Flags? <laughs> and, well, it looks, yeah, it looks big. I mean, it looks, like, as tall as one of the buildings there. Oh, my so gosh. So it's, you know, it's pretty big, and it's in Westminster Bridge Road. And that's wow. one of your destinations? Yeah. We're going to... Hopefully, we'll pass by it. Maybe we can go on it. Yeah. Like, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I don't know, like, if there's a long line, but we'll see. And lastly, I'm, I'm just going to name, like, three because there's a lot. But mm-hmm. I'm really excited to go see um, Stonehenge. It's not in What's London. That? It's, like, um... I'm it, sorry. As you found okay. out with Emilio and Luke, remember we were playing charades? I'm really bad with geography. <laughs> I'm bad, too. It's okay. Um... It's, like, just a bunch of stones. I mean, it's not that interesting when you get there. If you've ever seen, like, the wallpapers for the computer. A bunch of rocks. It's a bunch of rocks (laughs) in a circle. But it's the story and history behind it that's, like, really appealing. And um, I don't know. It looked really pretty in the video that we saw, and I liked it. And, oh, Big Ben. Just want to put that out there. I want to take a picture with Big Ben, the clock. The clock? Big I'm ben? so bad at this. Oh my god! Okay. Is it like I, a I, giant I, clock? Yeah. I'm like, uh, I'm out. I'm it's out okay. It. It's just a big clock. I mean, it's not like, um, like my aunt went there and she said it wasn't as big as the buildings around it, but that's okay because it's one of the oldest buildings and the older buildings tend to be smaller. But um, it's like really historical. It's like the landmark of London. That's oh. that's it. So I'm excited for that. Big Ben. I'm gonna take a picture with it. Be like. <laughs> Ban duck face. Instagram it. <laughs> Instagram that. I'm actually still refusing to go on Instagram. I refuse. Oh, I'm not on Instagram either. Really? I don't have one. No. <laughs> I might make one for the food. The food. Yeah. Like pictures. Yeah. Get the food pictures. I mean, <laughs> my sister goes on it and she's like, "Oh, I gotta filter this. I gotta filter that." I'm like, "What is a filter?" What is a filter? It took me like a year to figure out what Twitter was, and now I don't even use Twitter. And then my friend got me onto Tumblr, and now I don't even use Tumblr. And I'm good with my Gmail and my Facebook. That's all I need. I got my Gmail, my Facebook. I just started using Twitter. I'm not, like, too keen on, like, how to work it yeah. yet. Um, and Tumblr I go on occasionally, but not that often. So, Tumblr yeah, was guess, just bought, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just, like, a bunch of pictures you reblog. I mean, it's basically not that, not that it's a waste of time, but usually and when you go on it, it kind of 
kind of waste time. You could find really <laughs> cool things. Like, my friend found a bunch of recipes. Yeah, and there's some, useful stuff. Yeah. So, from Iran to London to Tumblr. Yep. <laughs> Funny how things go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you guys are traveling as well over the summer. If not, you know, you could go locally, go to a film festival, go to, I don't know, the park, go to the pool, you know, do something fun with your summer. Don't just stay inside and play video games or whatever people do during the summer. And, um, yeah, I guess we're done here, right, Ida? Yeah, okay. just get out and enjoy your summer and try to be as diverse and fun as possible. Okay. Be active. Bye-bye, ladies Bye. and please. Yeah. <laughs>